Hey guys, welcome back. On the blur here, time for race number 10. On the halfway point of the season, we are in Britain. I did all of the uh, practice sessions. I got them all the purple max session points, which is great, through two sessions. So I don't even have to do a third. And we qualified ninth. So not great, but not bad. The, very first the Rolex British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Silverstone in 1950, with Giuseppe Farina taking the top step of an all Alfa Romeo podium. He earned nine championship points that day on his way to the inaugural title. His winning total at the season's end, just 30 points. My, how times have changed. So let's see who can reach the top step of the modern podium today. Straddling the border of Northamptonshire and Buckinghamshire, the 18 corners of the Silverstone circuit form the 3.6 mile beating heart of Formula One. It's been reinvented over the years with turn one now the fast right-hander of Abbey, along with two DRS zones on the Wellington and Hangar Straits respectively. But the magic of racing is as strong here as it's ever been. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Raikkonen, Bottas, Daniel Ricciardo and Verstappen, Hülkenberg, Sainz, the rookie and Kevin Magnussen, Grosjean, Alonso, Charles Leclerc and Ocon, Perez, Gasly, Brendan Hartley and Lance Stroll, Ericsson and Stoffel van Dorn completes the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Just before we get started too guys, okay, this is I want to let you know that we actually went up 5% on difficulty as well. So we are now racing at a 70% level instead of 65. So let's do this thing here. And go. Let's hope we can get a good finish today. We didn't get a good start. Everyone went by us. Oh, I almost... Oh, I did get hit. Oh! We've got people destroying things. Oh, I lost the tire. Are you alright? Let me know you're alright. Luckily, rewind is out, so we'll just restart off the grid. Perez and everyone just took me out off the start originally. Oh dear. <laughs> We've now had to restart twice. Oh my goodness. I keep getting hit in the butt too. I'm not a good start to this race. I just took out Magnuson and now we can't turn. What a rough beginning to this race. Only 13 laps today either, guys. So, five less than we had in Austria. grass that time. The Cardi doesn't want to turn off the start. I don't know if we've got some wing and arrow damage now or not. Just the engine's kind of crappy. Tried to boost the durability here, but... I didn't see who ran the fastest time, but somebody's already ran a really fast lap. Some wear on the M2. 
G U K. To manage this, we'll need to lower our ERS deployment mode. Like the engine's starting to knock on this car, too. We had a good section that time. But signs are driving away from us. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. So I'm not sure what the caution was for. Okay, we're hitting the rated limits on the MGUH. The power unit is gonna be more prone to overheating. That's not good. Ooh, 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 took that one not well. We're gonna lose a lot of time there. is 10.5 seconds. What a different story of weeks, huh, guys? Austria, we ended up winning some cool pit strategy. And a great, powerful run at the end by this car. Right now, we just don't have the speed quite. I'm not as adept at this track. Still not having a bad day though. Compared to uh, Monaco, nothing will be as bad this year, I feel like. I really need one of the leaders to break. Reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. I really gotta get these power issues figured out. It's getting a warning every race about all this stuff is getting annoying.
box this lap, please. I don't even know where the box is, boys. Oh man, we were catching somebody, but now we gotta wait for an hour and a half. Shouldn't the ECU be going up at this point, or the... whatever you call it. Go, go. Great stop, guys. Way to put me in the grass to start off, guys. Do we have wing damage because of that nonsense? Okay, no. We may have to run a lap or two and lean by the end of this race. Because I must just be pushing it that hard, it's just not liking it. Turbo charging now. Awesome power on the turbo. Now the turbo's going out. is now pitting. So we won't be as powerful in this fuel mix, guys. Two seconds. Hopefully we build up a big enough lead to at least stay in the top ten. The gap to the car ahead is if we can't get a podium, I'd like to at least still get points. Getting points in a Williams is good. Kimmy just ran the fastest lap of the race. Okay, gap to leader, 15.3 seconds. Well, if that's Kimmy, he's kicking our butt. Gap to teammate behind is 15.5 seconds. And we're kicking Lance's butt. Good. Uh, we're still about a lap short. At least the fuel mix says we're finally even.
I probably run this car way too hard. Oh man, we're in all kinds of stuff. We'll flashback because I was gonna about to eat it. Three second penalty. Gap to car in front is three point four seconds. Even on reserve fuel in a broken DRS thing, whatever you call it, the battery, whatever this thing is. We were still catching Nico Hulkenberg a little bit. Give me another fast lap. Dang. Teammates are really fighting each other right now. Right in front of me. Okay, gap ahead is 3.7 seconds. That was our best lap of the race, wow. Come on, Lance. I'm running with less fuel. And you're not making any time up on me. Three 
laps of fuel remaining. Lewis now the fastest lap. Oh, dang it. Another fast lap for us. Two to go. Lewis, another fast lap. Yellow flag. This is the yellow flag somewhere on the track. Something happened to Daniel Ricardo. That's all we need, buddy. Driving this thing for all she's got at this point. Lewis is your race winner. Valtteri runs the fastest lap on the last lap of the race. We're not going to catch the teammates, but that's okay. We'll still come home in 8th. So we improve one spot off our qualifying. And we get 3 points. So not too bad. A relatively uneventful race after the start. Lewis, the winner, and now definitely way ahead in the point standings. I think Botas was second. 
day, the overtaking, looking on. Daniel Ricardo is having a lot of trouble. If you want to win, you need a package that's got the speed. Nico Hulkenberg comes in seventh. That's exactly what they had today. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more so. We'll just take. skip past that. Good for Lewis. And now let's take a look at the drivers. So stand. let's see. It's a good result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Difficult call, but I'd say Lance Stroll. He was committed the entire race, and it's paid off with the result. Nick Lance got the 13th. Shaping up in the constructors' championship, we saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us, and goodbye until the next race. So, as they were talking about here, you can look at the constructors' points. We are holding steady at fifth. Actually, nobody moved up or down this week. Uh, Ferrari only has a three point lead over Mercedes AMG now, though. Way ahead of us, though. And as far as standings, Lewis is up by eight on Kimi. 21 on Vettel, 32 on his teammate. Then there's Ricardo, Verstappen, and me. Wow. I'm in seventh. Holy crap. But let's go back to the finishing run real fast. So you see me in eighth and Lance in 13th. Good for both of us. Van Dorn is only in 17th, so that's good for us. And Ricardo had that trouble on the last lap and went from probably anywhere from third or fifth to last anyways guys let's see what uh, the media questions are and what our staff says it's another top 10 this year great work out there today how do you think it went would you say that your rival is still on your level <laughs> you're beating all expectations would you say we all underestimated you? It was more like dodgems than Formula One today, wasn't it? Appreciate your I don't understand how that decreases Williams' rep. But whatever. Maybe they think that I'm too much of a smartass sometimes. I don't know. I mean, we got them 8th position. Lance did get in 13th, but... I mean, we're still finishing really well. So I beat Stuffle. And we're leading Lance pretty handily. Nice, a thousand. Oh, there's another 500. I think uh, Force India and McLaren are really impressed with us right now. Getting closer to veteran <laughs> and showmanship. Great work. That's exactly the kind of result I'm looking for. Keep it up. So since we're here, guys. I'm going to show you We've received invitations to new historic events. You'll be able to choose whether or not to participate before the end of this weekend. So yeah, they get these every couple of weekends. Carl just debriefing us and then Emma talking about the invitation that she you showed us. Your last team goal. Well done. That should get the team a nice boost to their development and it won't hurt when it comes to your next contract review either. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. So our average starting position is 14th. Remember, finished is 11th. That's okay. So I'm going to show you guys uh, what we've got in the R&D right now. We've got uh, durability and aerodynamics in process for the next race at Germany. And you can see our development so far. So I went from the last team. Uh, we're now above Red Bull and Alfa Romeo. So that's good. But anyways... Thanks for tuning in as always guys. Please like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. This has been I'm the Blur.